Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to use numeric integration and uh, we are going to use uh, this uh, function to make a integration of a, a curve uh, with help of rectangular method and uh, we are going to have an inter, uh, interval, uh, sub interval, we have a, uh, an interval between uh, 0 or x0 until xn and uh, sub interval xi and xi plus 1 and uh, delta of x is xi plus 1 minus xi, it is 1 long and uh, we are going to use uh, this program to calculate for this you are going to start a new program console application and uh, it starts this window and you have a class program and uh, a global variable float x1 x2 and a main function a main uh, method and inside main method you have a float variable sum and uh, when you initialize you must end it with big F and console right now please enter an interval the decimals with comma and differ with the space uh, mean and marks and you are going to use a string x0 console red line and variable y is equal x0 uh, dot split with space between and uh, we are going to use x1 equals to y of 0 and x2 equals to y of 1 and you are going to use try catch method and if something is wrong it appear a error message and then we are going to use right line until the item of intervals and in int n we are going to read this string and convert it to integer and we are going to have a, a array of x new float of n that uh, items of interval and float the dx is float of x 2 minus x1 divided by n and you are going to write the intervals length for int from 0 until n you are going to use x of i equals to x1 plus i multiple by dx and again from 0 to n sum increments with float of math dot sign of x of i and you are going to use the write the result you can uh, pause and copy these code sources and then copy and then pause and copy these code sources now we are going to run the program <coughs> It's uh, reading here. Or compiling. Or debugging. Uh, 
I use value 0 to 6.18 uh, 10 and it is that part the sinus of x between 0 until 2 pi is that value the integral and it is correct if you calculate in MATLAB alright it was all in this tutorial see you on next tutorial